Hi friends, it's Miss Julie and I'm back with another Bible story. Today we get to hear a story about how someone was unkind and someone who was kind. Which do you think God wants us to be? Do you think he wants us to be kind to other people or unkind to other people? Kind to other people, that's what God wants us to do. So I can't wait to tell you this story from the Bible about kindness and unkindness. And it comes from the Old Testament, which is at the beginning of the Bible. It actually comes from the book of Genesis, which is the very first Bible book in the Bible. So if you have your Bible closed and you open it up, it's going to be the very first one at the beginning. It starts with a G. G is for Genesis. Okay, here we go. It's from chapter um, 26 in the book of Genesis. Isaac had a lot of food. He had many cows and sheep. He had so many animals and so much food that some people did not like him. One day, some people put dirt into Isaac's wells. So maybe you don't know what a well is. I'll tell you what that is real quick. A well is what they use to get water from the ground. So we turn on a water faucet, shh, the sink, right? And the water comes out. Or maybe we even put our cup in the refrigerator and shh, water comes out. But in the country, if you live outside like Isaac did, you have to dig a well. So you have to dig a hole really, 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 really deep into the ground. And then water comes from the ground into that well. So they put dirt into the well, um, and which made the water that was clean dirty. So that wouldn't be very good for his animals. So one day people put dirt in Isaac's wells. Isaac could not get water for his animals or his family. So Isaac had to move. Isaac found a new place to live, and Isaac's helpers dug a new well. But the people who lived there said that that water belonged to them, not Isaac. Isaac did not want the people and his helpers to argue. Isaac's helpers dug another well. Again, people said the water belonged to them. So Isaac moved one more time. Isaac's helpers dug another well. So this is the third well. This time, people did not argue with Isaac's helpers. There was plenty of water for everyone. The king and his helpers came to see Isaac. The king said, we know God has taken care of you. We don't want to argue anymore. Let's agree that we will be kind to each other. Isaac was glad that he had chosen to be kind to people who were not kind to him. Right? When he was digging, he was having his helpers dig the well. The other people were unkind to him, but was Isaac unkind back? No, he just said, okay, I don't want to argue. We'll come over here and dig. And he dug over here. They said, no, that's mine. It's kind of like if you're playing with a friend and there's toys and you want to play with one, but you're at your friend's house and that friend says, that's mine. Well, maybe that friend should be a little kinder and want to share all the toys with you because it's more important to play with you, but sometimes it's hard. So it's better to just be kind, right? So if a friend snatches a toy from you, it wouldn't be kind to snatch it back. So these friend, these people were not being very kind to Isaac when he was digging a well, but he didn't yell back or be mean. He just said, okay, we'll build another well over here. Okay, we'll build another well. So finally he found a spot that nobody wanted so that water belonged to him. This is a picture of Isaac and then his workers, his helpers digging the well. And then this, this shepherd back here, kind of, it's hard to see, but he kind of has a mean face on because he doesn't like Isaac or wanted to be unkind to Isaac. So when we're kind to other people, we're obeying God, which is just like our Bible verse that we've been learning, right? So the tune is wheels on the bus. Remember wheels on the bus go round and round. Okay. But we're going to learn about how the Bible says to obey God. Bible says to obey God, obey God, obey God. Bible says to obey God, Joshua 24, 24. Let me try to do that. The Bible says to obey God, obey God, obey God. Bible says to obey God, Joshua 24, 24. Great job. I'm so glad that you listened to my story today from the Bible and the book of Genesis, where we learned about how Isaac was kind. And being kind to others who God made is a way that we can obey God. Let's pray and we'll close our time. Dear God, 
Thank you for your Bible. Thank you for your stories. Thank you for the story of Isaac and how he was kind. Help us to be kind to others, to be kind to people who might be unkind to us. Thank you for teaching us more about you from the Bible. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Great job. See you next time. Bye.